All right, yo, so uh, in today's video, we're just gonna go over um, why you should not be afraid to weld things. Um, now, uh, one of the uh, biggest things I see when you go online, you know, you look up like, uh, you know, on one of the welding forums, uh, like how to repair something. And you know, you get a whole list of people saying, oh no, don't weld it. You know, all this liability, this, that, and the other, liability, this, liability, that. If you put a weld on it, it's gonna crack somewhere else. You know, it's gonna affect this, things won't, you know, it's just gonna break again, somebody could die, whatever, man. Most of the stuff that is out there, you know, don't, don't be afraid to weld it. Um, a perfect example of that is this this ice skate right here. Um, another reason why people are scared to weld something, I guess, is because they think they're gonna break it. Well, this you can't break this any more than it's already broke. Uh, it cracked right there, the blade broke. Um, you can't get any more of these in the size that I have uh, because Reebok and CCM, they're trying to get you to buy new skates. Uh, these are pretty old. They don't make them like this anymore. Apparently how they have screws here uh, They changed up that style and they're like a clip-on thing or something. I guess I don't know but I can't find any blades for this and A new skates gonna run like $300 So I'm gonna fire up the Fronius trans steel over here uh, and We're gonna attempt to repair this skate blade and if it doesn't work out. It's already broken anyway i mean you can't you can't mess it up any more than it already is so first things first is we're gonna line up these screws here and then we're gonna get a measurement on it um that way we know how far apart the center of our screw holes are uh, we're using a metric tape measure here because metrics more accurate and easy to work with so we got from center to center we're looking at 270 or 267 millimeters center to center so we're going to pop this blade off and uh clamp her in place and get her get her welded out All right, so I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll try and bring this thing in here a little bit closer. Um, we got that blade clamped to this piece of aluminum. Uh, that's gonna help uh, this thing stop bowing. Um, it's also gonna help with burn through. I'm not very good with TIG. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I can barely run a TIG torch to save my life, um, but I got this ground out here. Um, we might have to back gouge it. I don't know, man. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Like I said, I mean, it's already junk anyway. So, yeah, we're going to get this thing clamped on here. Get our gloves on and uh, see what we can do here. All right, so we're going to try getting this, this a whirl here. All right, that was a quick weld. Um, it definitely burned a puddle in our uh, in the edge of our blade there. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't really want that when I'm skating, but I mean, if I can skate with 
a uh, messed up blade is better than skating with no blade. I mean, I don't know if that'll even affect anything. I'll, uh, you know, sharpen that up. Well, I'll grind that out down a little bit. Um, and then, you know, sharpen the blade. It might, it might work, you know. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and see if I need to bat gouge anything at all. Um, before I, uh, give up here. Yeah, I might, I might, I just might back gouge that. Uh, and maybe try to run the TIG torch back this way. To hopefully fill in the, uh, the skate edge. Um, probably get a flap wheel and clean that up, I guess, before I uh, clamp this. So that way it's straight. Alright, I actually didn't back gouge that or anything. Well, I back gouged it, but I didn't grind it off. I might just uh, leave the weld on there. I mean, it's not really going to affect anything. Um, one thing I forgot to measure was the uh, distance here. I think I got it all pretty much where it needs to be. Um, I mean, it should work. <clears throat> so we'll get our TIG torch going here again um, and get her fired up. Kind of m m missed a little bit right here. Let's see if I can get that for my welder down here. And we might be getting a stress crack there, or it's just the edge of the weld, I can't really tell. I think it's just the edge of the weld. I'm not used to looking at stainless. Yeah, I think that's just the toe of the weld. It may may hold it may not i don't know but like i said um it was it was screwed up before you know so if it holds it holds if not oh well but yeah so don't be afraid so yeah don't be afraid to weld repair weld things you know um like I said, it's scrap anyway. Um, if you can save a few dollars, you know, just run this for, that was what, like three, four seconds of actual arc time on each side. I mean, heck, that might save you a few hundred dollars, you know.